Welcome back to the Shanghai 2013 Counter-Strike Online World Championship. You've got just one match left today, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome like the rest of the matches we've had so far. We're bringing those guys up right on stage right now. This is Taiwan. Taiwan. Coming up on stage here. I really like that guy's haircut. It's yeah. definitely out there, but it's cool. It's stylish. I would uh, recommend him to be my host. I would too. Of course, our other team coming up on stage here. And these two teams ready to go at it. A lot of different heights for these two teams, players. Yep. They, uh, they're very um, varied. Yeah. In all shapes and sizes. And yeah. Counter-Strike skill. Yeah, that's true. We're going to have to see who has a better competition. I've never really seen any uh, Indonesian Star uh, StarCraft or Counter-Strike or any esports teams really coming out of them. So it's hard for me to look at this and say yeah. uh, one way or the other. I expect to see really good play or they're not really known for first-person shooters. So I don't know if it's going to be good. Uh, but we're going to go right into the game right now and uh, take a look. So this is of course just our warm up. One of the first times we have some of our players uh, with different tags. It looks like just uh, Jay has a different tag for his team. But, uh, probably just a typo when he was changing it in uh, Steam or whatever client they're using to uh, play as Counter-Strike Online. So after this warm-up round is done, actually, I think this might be just our real pistol round. Now we're going yeah, to, this yeah. is actually the real one right in the pistol round. This guy's already taken a bit of damage. Moxed. Not daring to poke his head outside that hole. No. No, indeed. We're so playing on train again, man. This yeah, this is your favorite map. Like you let everybody know about. <laughs> Montoya picking up a, sh a headshot there. So far, Python looking pretty good. Yeah. Taking another kill here. Trading. Yeah, not looking good for RTG. Although, with hell sparks with a double kill, and Bobby, wow! Wow. Bobby, wow. Bobby, wow. Looking pretty good, wowing us so far. Inator versus hell sparks. Sparks? Yeah, sparks. Both at really low health. And the bomb is going to go off. So, first round goes to the terrorist there. Off to a good start. Going to get that extra money, get those good guns, go right into trying to make some momentum for their team. Really interesting to see uh, Counter-Strike players like this having their keyboard sideways. Because they only really use the left side. Yeah. Offers a better angle, more comfortable angle, more efficient angle for their Yeah. I can feel that. Can you feel him? Feel him. Feel him now, Mr. Krabs? Feel him. Mux? Are you feeling Mux with five kills? This guy is on fire. Mux. Mux. Bobby, wow. They're, they have the guns here, but they're they're not winning. They actually Ouch. lose. Python taking it one to one. Look at that guy's keyboard. That's like next level. Yeah, his I never. Keyboards in his chest. I, is it just me, or were the other team's keyboards not quite so exaggeratedly moved, or did I never notice that? That was just him. That's the first guy I've seen where it's actually coming out of his chest. <laughs> I expect the Taiwanese team to take this one. What do you think? It's looking that way so far. I mean, I don't think we've had anyone lose after winning the pistol round. So, Python right now looking really strong. And again, so far winning this round, getting a bunch of kills is SG, as well as Kent and Montoya. This is really different than what we saw uh, from the Turkish team on this on this map, where everybody was just trying to get to the third player for as fast as possible and climb it up on top of the train cars. This one's all about the hallways and avoiding going into that death trap in the middle of the map. So I like that. 
that these two teams are kind of switching it up a little bit here. Yeah, different strategies from uh, different teams. Although I do, I do believe we did have our Chinese team on this map. Chinese known to be really good. Maybe that is a good strategy. Lux, the... Kind of, those guys all have just strong necks. It's really impressive. Fire in through the wall here. Taking a lot of damage. Is PJ. Or not PJJ. Tell Sparks here. ISG. S or just SG. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, one of our slower rounds. Yeah, for sure. Especially with how these two really fired things off at the beginning. Slight advantage to our Type A team here. Oh, nice. Cat with two kills. This is definitely my favorite guy, man. I love cats. His name is Cat. He just got a double kill. He killed Bobby. Wow. The guy with the obnoxious name. Coming through for me here is Cat. Python. That's my boy. Bobby, wow. He's got the bomb. Yeah. Hopefully looking to wow his team and everybody watching. Oh. <laughs> As I say that, gets killed, drops the bomb. Didn't that happen? The guy's keyboard is really impressive, I have to say. I bet that's Cat. If that's Cat, like... It's either Cat or Montoya, man. One of the two. <laughs> I can't imagine anyone else on the team being a guy who would have Definitely it. not Kent. No, it's not Kent. Even though Kent has the most kills. Kent would be the guy who, like, carries his own pistol to the Counter-Strike tournaments. And they're like, no, 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 it's just a game. And he's like, no, I just brought it. For fun. <laughs> Need to bring it doesn't have any bullets. Calm down. He, like, shoots it into the air and fires. And he's like, he's oh. like now it doesn't have any bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, that was an all-kill there, not even a single body drop. This is starting to look really one-sided. Yeah, I, I, this is one of those ones where you see these two teams go at it for a bit. Even after the first two or three matches, you were like, well, looks like Python's pretty strong. Yeah. RTG having some trouble. Like you said, not many big names coming out of that region, so maybe just not as ahead in esports as many other regions are. Well, Taiwan just definitely has a lot more infrastructure right now for esports, uh, trying to follow the Korean model. Probably the closest thing we have to Korea, especially with the TESL. I'm sure this team actually plays in Counter-Strike leagues there as well. Um, may even have teams outside of Counter-Strike. Yeah, Aren't you mad? Aren't you a man? Aren't you man enough to play Counter-Strike? Mm. Yeah. That's what he's going for. Maybe. Uh, strange ID, or regardless. Bobby Wow, stop dancing like that. <laughs> this is serious. Put your pants back on. Well, ooh, this is actually just how to play blind, 101. This is what it's like when you walk into a club. It's really smoky. <laughs> Except this place has guns and you can die. We gotta be careful about shooting that radioactive material. I don't know if there's actually stuff in there. It's a mystery. We never find out what's in anything, any containers on any map ever. Well, that was like, oh my god, Hellspark is so lucky. <laughs> Bobby Wow goes down, there goes Hell Sparks. And I think this could actually be one of our most one sided matches so far. Well, so far it definitely is, but I think it could. We might finish at like 16 4 or something. I think the only team we ever saw go down like this is the Japanese team. Yeah. They got some cold rain on them. <laughs> they got the cold rain themselves. Right now, Python is squeezing like an anaconda on RTG. RTG, it was a longer name, but now it's short because of the Python. I'll just... I'll <laughs> That grenade actually hit like three people on uh, RTG. Montoya getting a kill on Hell Sparks. Bobby, wow. Trying to see was, what he can get done. He was watching that other game. Man. Whoa. He was learning. Jay, headshot on SG. Jay, wow. Oh, isn't it? It's Jay, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> now we know it's Jay, wow, too. Yeah. 
거거든요. 어, 이름은 다르죠. 예. 근데 네더. 위치 전부 파악하게 됐습니다. 네더. 2대 1. 오! Get the kill. So low is both of them. Bobby Wow, Bobby Wow. 약간의 이제 럭키성. 네더. Knit this guy a new sweater. 두 선수 모두 HP가 어, 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 어. 자신감 있게 들어가는 거 상승 상황을 안 오거든요. 어, 나트 시니스 어라운드 코너. 네더 has to turn around. Boom! Shot in the back. Bobby Wow. Wow and us all. Get them their second win. Bobby Wow in the lead with kills. J Wow holding down the fort at the bottom. Wow. Yeah, J Wow. So J much headshots. Bobby Wow. Much flank. Mux. My favorite name on that team. She reminds me of Mux from Pokemon. I heard people call him Mook before, and I'm like, nah, no, 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 you can't speak English. That's like just a gross mispronunciation of the word. I mean, he even says it. He was mug. It's very clear. There's, as long as you've seen the anime, like there should be no confusion. But I still know those kids that still just say Mook. I'm like, you're the same kid who says Ratatata. Like no, <laughs> it's not Ratatata. Yeah, it's not. Counter terrorists. You know those people say King Day Day, the King Didi, or King Didi. Because like, thing is, King Didi is how you say it, but King Didi like at least like sounds a little better. Like, it's Day to Day. I'm like, no, Day to Day. Must be some European uh, I remember the Harry Potter days when people tried to say Hermione. They didn't know what they were doing. Hermione. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bring him back bad memories. <laughs> Bobby Wow. No, this is not. <laughs> I was just thinking about Bobby Wow. You, they're tied. Whoever wins that is the winner for their team. Right now we have Nitter and Kent, the guy who brought his own pistol to the tournament. You keep calling him Nitter. Nitter. Oh, you're right. I thought it was actually United. <laughs> oh my God. You changed my view. So far, Cat is not living up to his name. Especially anyone who has just the name Cat. Like, there's no confusion there. It's not like C A T E or something. It's yeah, K or it's Cat. Like, this is Cat. This is Cat. And he's doing the worst. He's tied for the lowest kills on either team. Even though his team is winning 6 2. Mux right now, 1 to 4. Trying to sneak along here with this pistol. What can he do? He wants to plant the bomb. That's a good start. Getting shot though, that's bad start. Bad ending. Bad ending. 7 to 2. He's speechless. <laughs> <laughs> guy on the end there taking off his headphones, not sure what to say after winning that one. <laughs> so impressed, wasn't sure if he was hacking. <laughs> not sure if he wasn't sure if he himself was hacking. <laughs> Wait a minute, I need a, I need a rep, I think my gun did more damage than it's supposed to. <laughs> RTC forgetting to pick up the bomb, going back. Yeah, he's got to get it. Muxed. <laughs> SG goes down. Wow. Wow. Cat now. Trying to hold it down as worst player in the game. R2 man. He's waiting. He's camping. He's not. Bobby Wow taking some damage. Gotta be careful. Judging by that big black mark on the ground, I think it could have been from a grenade. I, I believe so. Bit of passive around. I still feel like Python could take this though, despite being down the kill. So, so low are the hit points of Bobby Wow and Jay Wow. Mm. These guys, brothers in crime. Two terrorist boys growing up together. Yeah. They're only going to be terrorists for a little bit longer. <laughs> and they're going to have to reform. They're going to change the moles. Niter goes down with a headshot by Archie Man. This is starting to look pretty good for RTG this round. Mm. Wow, look at this. Trainer at A. 
Archman. Now it's up to Kent. I think Kent can. If he can't, then I can't believe it. I think if I think if he does this, he needs to change his ID to Ken. Ken? Yeah, just Ken. So he can. Is he gonna have to? We'll see. The bomb is still planted, and yeah, it's not. He got a kill though. So it could be like Ken with the C, maybe. Yeah, he just changes ID to maybe Ken. <laughs> Almost Ken. Somewhat Ken. Fairly Ken. <laughs> well, this is uh. I I think uh. This is a game that. RTG can win, but they need to be playing more like we just saw them in the previous round, basically every single time. Ouch! Can't, that was harsh. Right on Bobby Wow's head, gets hit himself. Kills right back, back fourth round. Yeah. Tied up now, though. Two and two. Mox goes down. Whoa! Jay Wow! The mid-air headshot. He knows where he is. He was told by his teammate where he died. J Wow's trying to sneak up on him here. J Wow doesn't have the bomb. He needs to get it. That's the problem. He's trying to go to the death location. Taking He's a on a mission path. for commission. No commission. Here. There's commission. If he wins, he gets more money. Yeah, but not in this specific case. He won't get the money down. They're both just hunting each other. Like two panthers in the wild. That's exactly what I was going to say. I don't know how we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> That's like literally exactly what I was going to say. Two panthers, man. For the wild. We gotta get that S. Is it actually exists? It's awkward panthers, the 4-2 jungle panthers. All those are so awkward. They die consecrates every time. <laughs> they don't even do anything, they try to stay self. And it's just consecrates. So sad. Finally this finding each other. Jay Wow taking some shots. I cannot believe that uh, a Niter was even able to see him. I couldn't. There's the finish. Now up to 8 to 3. I feel like. Uh, I actually feel like, based on the playstyle we see from Python, when we switch in four more rounds, where Python is actually playing the uh, the terrorists, they're going to dominate. And it seems to be their, their style. Yeah, I mean, they're already dominating right now. They love to be aggressive. They can really use that to your advantage. Yeah. I'm like, switch sides. I'm scared for RTG. You're like, already get two kills. You're already becoming a Python fanboy. <laughs> Nicely done. Bobby, wow. Is he going to wow us? Is he going to have to make the rest of the wow capitalize after winning this? Ouch. Bobby, wow. Takes out Niter. Niter had 19 kills, by the way. That's... He's almost in the 20s, whereas no one on RTG has 10 kills yet. Yep. Well, that's a pretty good indicator for Rat in this game. Bobby Wow wanted to get that 10th kill. Did go down. Putting us at a 9-2. was a 9-3? 9-3. 9-3. 12 games played so far. Pretty good. Looking still good for Python. Our quote-unquote Chinese Taipei team. Yes. Three. Dropping that graffiti. Splitting up a bit. Yeah, good, good position here. For I think it's Kent behind behind that train. Kent is a guy who has uh, much hunting experience and very good uh, survival skills. So I would trust him more on his own. Hell Sparks already already gone. Mux taking some shots. Snyder goes down though. We'll see. There's 10. Really, RTG can't afford to give up many more points here. Yeah, like you said, Py Python looking really strong, especially after the switch. Yeah, I think they're going to dominate after the switch. That's my personal thing. I don't think RTG is going to get something out of being counter terrorist. Yeah, RTG, they need to get as many wins as they can before the switch, or else they're really going to have some trouble. See what happens here. Very passive round here. 
Archman swinging around, Montoya peeking underneath the, uh, the skirts of those trains. And uh, Kent gets a kill here. Another grenade cover shot here by Archman. Bombs planted. This gives Python a few seconds to get down there and actually work on this. They're not going to be able to just sit back anymore. Not even waiting for a second. Archman also going down 10-3. Gonna defuse that bomb. Yeah, like three people there to defuse it. Got the whole, the whole gangs here. Are they actually waiting? Like, it took them a little bit. Maybe they were arguing over who was defusing the bomb. Maybe teasing a little bit. Not looking good for ITG. For RTG, sorry. Python. Python. Six kills from victory. Or six rounds, and uh, two more rounds left before we have that swap that I was talking about. Now three people on RTG with nine kills, two of them with five. And Kent actually going down to Mux, Mux also dying. Yeah, nice, nice trades here for RTG. Uh, a little bit of an awkward spot there under the train car, but he gets out. Archie Man goes down. Montoya gets a kill on Jaywile as well. And Nider brings it back down to one left. Hell Sparks, who does get killed there at the last second. And now, things could not be looking better for Python. Yeah. This is our last round as RTG being a terrorist. We're going to have a swap. That's a cool eye patch. <laughs> These patches actually only look cool, like in fiction, like in, in in movies, you know, games, even in books. When you read about eye patch, it sounds awesome. But in real real life, you can never really pull it off and make it look cool. I feel, which is really sad. Yeah, you you would have to put a lot of work into that. I mean, you actually basically just have to be as cool as the eye patch guy in the movie. Like, you have to be like a general who's like also leading terrorists somehow. And <laughs> Have like a scar on your face. This is a good round for RTG. Yeah, Cat actually left the game after he died. Maybe a little mad, not doing as good as his teammates. Yeah, he definitely had some problems. Mm, don't shoot that box, radioactive. Bobby Wow trying to approach the bomb site. And there you go. Montoya goes down. And we're going to go ahead and swap now. RTG getting the final win there. Now, what do you think? Mm. RTG can do going into the swap. What do you think they got to do to change up their they, game plan here? They absolutely have to win the pistol round. That's for sure. And from there, I think they just got to keep the momentum. If they lose it for one second, the aggressive style we've been seeing from uh, our Taipei team is just going to overwhelm them. We saw Project Korea come back hugely from the 14. And if we could see something like that of RTG, I mean, that's really what they got to do. Like you said, just keep the momentum, not hold it for a bit. They have to win this pistol round. It's going to be terrible. They actually, they won the pistol round the first uh, side, first half, and then Python took the second one. So, you know, even with that, they really just have to win it. Taking a ton of damage to start with the... Uh, was that grenade? Yeah, that hurts. And actually, right now, Python is playing with four, four members. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, Cat's reconnected now. I guess uh, leaving the game like that can get you a bit of, uh, bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. Disqualification penalty. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, he's back. Niter could actually still win this for them. Mux very low. It's Bobby Wow that's the problem. Bobby Wow so far wowing us. He's just going to camp and wait over here. That's the issue here. Because Niter has to actually drop a bomb. Uh, he's the one who has to approach. He's got 32 seconds basically from now to, to make this work. I don't think it's going to happen. The thing about this is that he knows that he's camping. He was visible, yeah. The, there he is. He's actually trying to get an angle, but he doesn't. Bobby Wow takes the kill. And RTG trying to hold on by a thread here. We saw Project KR do it. Maybe RTG can as well. 
Well, not having Cat in that first pistol round definitely hurts him. And um, maybe they're trying to be nice. <laughs> that would be like a huge... Um, what's the word? Present? Gift? Donation? No, like, uh, kind of dis, uh, disrespect. Oh, yeah. That was very easy. Really <laughs> like, disrespecting the enemy team, just saying, oh, we'll play with four right now. Like, we don't think you're strong enough. Well, three kills already for RTG with the better weapons, and... Well, there's an all kill. So far, RTG looking poised to make a comeback. Yeah, it's definitely possible. The gap isn't as big as it looks. Only five uh, rounds down. And the way that, that uh, Python took those hits, it's hard for them to actually you know, use the money they have to make weapons. Yeah, still using mostly pistols here. It is definitely hard to make weapons out of money. Yeah. You have to get some tape as well. You can try staples, but I don't want to staple the money. Yeah. There's that pistol spot we saw our Malaysian team and our Turkish teamies earlier. Just hanging out up there on the, on the railing. Whoa, what a crazy little spot here by Archuman. This guy just picking off a bunch of guys, getting two kills. That was awesome, actually. Montoya goes down. Oh, Kent's trying to hit the bomb, dying as well. Neither. There's no way. Trying to get a kill here. He just get broadcasted his position to everybody. He's going to be surrounded and killed here in just a few seconds. There's even a flash on him. He's trying. He's going to have to be more than Superman. Goodbye. And suddenly, RTG making a comeback. They're, they're really pulling it through here. They were not looking like they had any hope, but really just um, playing well after winning that fist around, getting good momentum, not holding out, not holding back at all. They, uh, they really need to keep it with this kind of play. They want to help win this. Kent uh, trying to swing around here. It's a big firefight down here in the hallway. Gets shot, sideswiped by Archuman. Nider up here next to the ladder. Mystery tries to swing around to get vision of the higher ground. Nider sneaking under the uh, the train here. Oh, SG misses his shot. Just tries again, misses once more. There's the grenade toss, double grenade toss. Nider was able to get a headshot. Nice snipe at SG with barely any health. Now it's up the box. Can he do it against three with the bomb planted? It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. He's trying to shoot through the wall here, and he gets both the kills. And now he can defuse the bomb if Montoya doesn't... Montoya doesn't shut him down. There he goes. Headshot. Nicely done. Montoya keeping it together for Python. Is he left-handed, or is it just a lie? You know, Princess Bride, have you seen this? No, I have not. I did download it because I heard so much about you guys talking about that movie. So I do have it on my computer. You need to see it. I don't know why is there is such hype after reading the description. But... Uh, Inigo Montoya. He's uh, probably what this guy named himself after, I assume. I would hope so. With all the hype. Bobby Wow taking it from Montoya. Yeah. Cat going down. Cat not uh, not having the best luck here. He might even be like a stand-in or something for their team, like a B team or a, a substitute. He doesn't seem to be on their level. Yeah, he's not really. I mean, he had to disconnect and come back, so he does have more than one kill, but still. It's just, uh, it also may be that he plays more of a support role in their game, so uh, he doesn't actually get all the kills. Uh, but he hasn't really made any crazy plays just yet, that's for sure. Likes to uh, jump up and down, though. Just a bunch of his weapons. Throwing out his pistol there, getting another one. Some grenades. So, RTG, the slight comeback here. Python's still only four, four away from victory. Uh, half that of what RTG needs to win this, but it's still possible. We've seen it before. Nider goes down, Kent goes down. Cat from above. 
Take goes down. Some SG and Montoya is the last man standing. Montoya now. One on three. One guy is half health. He's got a gun. He goes down. They've all got guns. That's the problem. <laughs> they do have knives as well. So. Yep. Sometimes also grenades. This guy with the, the keyboard coming out of his chest getting really, really into it. Getting closer and closer to his monitor, just like we are right now. I'm really close to my monitor. Nighter now. Giving up his lead to Kent. Shooting through the wall. Yeah, trying to get something done there. 어, 그로 인한 후소 보너스로 인해서 이제 16점까지 갈수 있는 기회가 올수 있는데 네. 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 All sparks over here. The spark of life in this team. Nighter goes down. Cat goes down. Cat goes down. Jay, wow. What else can he get? He's nearly full health. On a streaker, SJ goes down. Bobby Wild goes down. The others on the other hand, Montoya wants to turn things around, but he cannot. I'm starting to, to feel it right now. I, I almost feel like RDG is going to win this game. I mean, they do have the momentum, and that's the most important thing we've noticed so far. That really gets you the wins here. I mean, especially so because of how money works in this game, too. Yeah. Okay. Going over here, waiting. Nighter. Tosses some grenades out. Misses one, actually. Hits one on his, on his own head. Oh, he found somebody. But he alerted it. Bobby Wow and Jaywell picking up a kill. Eats Mux as well. Archie Man goes down to Montoya. Nighter a kill here as well. 3 to 1. Not looking good for Python. There's a chance. It's very small. I really don't. Uh, I, 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 I was incorrect. RTG uh, is doing very, very well as counter terrorists. I really thought that Python was going to crush them when we had the switch here, but the opposite ended up being true. Bobby Well picks up a kill here. Wins him that round. Now it's 11 to 12. This is really anyone's game. It's come so far, like after Python was just so far ahead. We were both so sure that they were just going to take this with the momentum, the uh, great play they were showing us. Go, go, go. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Not just yet. Oh, there it is. Great smoke there. Blocking out Bobby Wow's view. Doing better as Python in this round. Yeah, for sure. Right now, Hill Sparks trying to come around, goes down. Cat with the kill onto Archiman. 3 to 5 in this round. Can Python take the advantage back? Bomb is planted. And it's all up to Mux. I don't know. I don't Unless know Mux has a nuke when he's preventing a bomb. Even then, help. He goes down. Python keeps that momentum, or at least tries to take it back here. Keeps that lead at 13 to 11. Three wins away. Taking this final match tonight. Literally so close. Python, I think they're going to take the, uh, the momentum back here. It's RTG has made such huge strides, but after losing a game, it's 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 hard to keep it going, you know. Yeah, especially with the money. Cat mm. leading the charge here with the bomb. J Wow going down box as well. Bobby Wow blinded Cat as well. Montoya near the bomb site, trying to cover for Cat here. SG gets a kill on Bobby Wow. Trades for Hell Sparks. Cat picking up a kill. A rare case here. Archman takes him out though. Archman all alone. Getting another kill there. Getting another nice. kill. Nice! Terrace eventually win by Archman. So close. That was a sick round for him. Two wins away though now. 
the Python. And I think they're going to keep this going. You can see RTG losing a bit of steam. Archman trying to keep a minute, maybe on the back of his really nice play. Will they be able to actually come back? Kent trying to get in position here. Smoke grenades everywhere is so difficult to see. When you've got that spare money, you can just keep buying those and dropping them everywhere, trying to limit your opponent's vision where you know exactly where you're going to be. SG gets this high ground position here. He's trying to find anybody. You can see, you see his one hit poke out. He's going to go for it. Bobby Wild takes out Montoya. Meanwhile, can get another kill. SG as well. Archiman trying to keep his team in and as much as he can. J Wow also getting a headshot with the pistol. Bit of a slow reaction here by Cat, but he still picks up the kill. Cat! It's all on him this time. Not He's the person the I want to rely on, but. Can he do it now? I think he got three kills this round. Make that four. And now it's up to Archiman. So, the guy who's basically the MVP for these last few rounds. RTG. Is Cat going to do it? Archiman's just waiting. He doesn't have to move because uh, it's on Cat to plant the bomb. If Cat can get to the other bomb site, Right, though, that would be excellent. Probably what uh, he thinks Archman would expect, though. He doesn't have much time here. Yeah, there's the camp there. Nicely done by Archman. Yeah. Not being too aggressive. Didn't have to be at all. RTG coming back. Archman. He's really trying to take it for his team. He's doing so well. So many kills in the past. Snipes that we were seeing from him are excellent as well. All right, this is a tense round. Money pretty much depleted for both teams. Archiman is the only one really keeping up a, a bank here. He can, of course, give that to his teammates, but still not a whole lot left. This is going to get a lot of momentum this round, whoever takes it. Really important, I feel, for RTG to take this one. Can't take in the bomb. Cooking this grenade, tosses it down. A lot of grenades going down. Can they do it? They're being really aggressive on this bomb site. Nice. Plant. Getting a couple kills. Can't identifying that uh, his opponent was right to the right of him. Tries to plant the bomb though and goes down. Nider falls as well. No, he doesn't actually. It was uh, SG. Now he falls. And Montoya fighting in the dark here. He sees an opportunity, gets a shot. It's all between, one. Yeah, all between him and Mux. Once again, they know where they are. They're not a grenade. Oh, great shots here by Mux, but he doesn't actually get the finish. Montoya in a good spot, too. I think he needs to reload. Montoya actually getting the kill. Nice. One more. Or our Taiwan team can actually take this out. Python. Python 1 went away. It's been a long match here, actually. Started out one-sided. RTG just coming back, making some really nice plays. RTG really making it interesting. Look at them spend all their money here. They've got, like, nothing left. That's what you got to do. you got to spend all your money. They know this is their last chance. Are they going to be able to take it? That's the question. Python going pretty aggressive right now. JWoww waiting. Great kill there on Cat. On the other hand, SG gets a double kill on JWoww as well as Mux. Kent gets headshotted by Bobby Wow. On the other hand, 3v3 right now. Good position for SG to try to plant the bomb. SG now getting a nice headshot all the way from far away. Now 3-2, not looking good for RTG. SG going aggressive now, pushing in. Can he find whoever who's on RTG who's left? Hellsparks. Hiding in the shadows, trying to, to hope to catch the bomb planter. Hellsparks goes down, though. And Montoya, ready here. It's all up to Archiman. Can he do it? He's done great things in the past. Can he get a triple kill? The answer is no! And this is the win for Python here. Python, really nice game played. RTG trying to take it back, making it interesting, but Python eventually the better team. Looked like that from the beginning, taking a well-deserved win at the Counter-Strike World Championships here in Shanghai. It's been a pretty awesome day of uh, Counter-Strike for us, and uh, I really enjoyed it. We got to see a lot of comebacks. We did get to see just one fairly one-sided match, and... Uh, 
The one thing I learned for sure about that train map is there are multiple ways to play it, and yep. the longer the game goes on, the more interesting it gets. It's not always just about trying to get up on that third floor or just camping underneath the trains, but actually the hallways are really important to control as well. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can play that map, as well as all the other maps we saw today. Well, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you guys next time.